Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasta and today I'll talk about the pleura. So since we're on the topic of thorax and we're finally going to start the thoracic cavity and inside the thoracic cavity as you all know are the organs and what are the main organs inside a thoracic cavity? The lungs and the heart which lies between them. So it all starts with the pleura and pleura means a serous membrane or a serous lining that lines the lungs. Similar to the pleura in your abdomen, there is the peritoneum that lines your ab abdomen. Coming back to the discussion of pleura, the pleura lines your lungs. So the lining of the lungs is known as the pleura. So there are two types of pleura. The visceral pleura, the other name for this is the pulmonary pleura and the parietal pleura the outer covering visceral or the pulmonary the name says it that viscera means an organ this means that this pleura is adherent to the lung so you can say that the visceral pleura is corresponding to the lining of your lung because it is completely adherent to your lung and then there is the parietal pleura wherever the word parietal is seen it is the outer covering so there is the visceral pleura and right outside it all around the margins of the lung lies the parietal pleura. So it is the outer covering of the lung on both lungs. Between the visceral layer of pleura and the parietal layer of pleura, what is this? There is an empty space and this empty space has a significance. This empty space is known as the pleural cavity. It is in this space that negative intrathoracic pressure is created so that we can inspire air into the lungs and the lung then expands within this cavity. So this was a brief introduction into your pleura. Now let's quickly go over the nerve supply of these two pleura. It is very important to know that the parietal and visceral have a very important difference between them and that difference is that the parietal pleura is derived from the somatopleuric layer of the lateral plate mesoderm in your embryonic life while the visceral pleura is developed from the splanchnopleuric layer of your lateral plate mesoderm and there is a significance to this. The major significance of knowing their development is that since this is developed from somatopleuric layer, it is supplied by the somatic nerves. On the other hand, since this is coming from your splanchnopleuric, it is uh, innervated by the autonomic nerves. So, what is the difference between these two types of nerves? The somatic nerves are the nerves that are almost similar to the nerves that are supplying your skin, your muscles, the ones that carry sens sensation, pain, temperature. Similarly, so somatic nerves also carry this and hence the parietal pleura is very sensitive to pain just like your skin. If you have any pinching feeling and it hurts, the parietal pleura will also detect that pain. However, in the case of viscera, the organs or even the visceral pleura in this case, this is not supplied by somatic nerves. It is supplied by autonomic. And what does autonomic mean? Autonomic means parasympathetic and sympathetic fibers only. This means that it is only supplied by these two types of fibers. And these two types of fibers also have an important function in your lungs. The parasympathetic fibers further are derived from the vagus nerve in case of the visceral pleura and the T2 to T5 thoracic ganglia t2 to t5 thoracic sympathetic ganglia if you remember that we studied this in our thoracic sympathetic trunk when we talked about the pulmonary plexus of nerves so what is the function of para and uh, parasympathetic system in a sympathetic system in your lung the parasympathetic system causes secretion in glands and causes bronchospasm while sympathetic system causes bronchodilation and inhibits secretions the parietal layer which is supplied by somatic nerves now these are uh, which somatic nerves the intercostal nerve and the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve usually supplies the, see the central part of the pleura and the intercostal nerve supplies the more peripheral part of the pleura.